my name is Jeffy and this is Android. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be cooking two different types of dog treats. We're going to be doing a peanut butter pumpkin biscuit and then we're also going to try and do a dried out chicken jerky wrapped around a small pumpkin. So let's get started. All right, the first recipe I was able to find online to need two cups of flour. So there it goes, one cup. So next up, we're just going to use one egg. All right, next we're going to use three quarters cup of peanut butter. Harder than I was expecting. He might actually like these biscuits. Um, he's not a big fruit and vegetable guy, so that that amount of sniffing is a good sign. All right, we got our Halloween pumpkin scooper. Wow. I think I'm going to have to put this into the food processor before we continue. And I did read online that you can feed dogs pumpkin skin. Uh, it is okay for them, but when you do your dog treats, you're also totally welcome to cut them off if you don't think that they would prefer the skin. Alright, so the food processor worked really, really well for this. We got a pretty good mashup of pumpkins. I honestly don't even think you could do this recipe without a, a food processor because I'm just not quite sure how you'd get such a hard pumpkin into a smooth mixable rollable thing. We need three quarters cup of a pumpkin. Just gonna use the same tools. He licked his lips. He likes it. Right. Now we just need to mix our dough together. It's very doughy and it, it really just smells like a peanut butter cookie honestly. So now that we have our pumpkin ball, so going to roll out our dough. So now that we have this all flattened out, we have a cookie cutter in the shape of pumpkin. All right, so next, all we're gonna do is put these in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so while those are in the oven, we're going to work on our second set of treats, which is just going to be the chicken wrapped pumpkin uh, dehydrated in the oven. So for this, I'm just going to slice this pumpkin into a bunch of little slices. So I guess we have all of these cut, and next we just need to cut up some chicken, and then we'll get wrapping. Um, the thinner we can get this, the better I think it will be. Alright, that's a nice thin piece right there. So I'm just going to grab these and start wrapping them one by one and placing them on our plate. Almost done. We will put these in the oven, 165 for about two hours. It's the next morning and I took our treats out of the oven last night. They took a lot longer than I originally expected. They ended up taking about six hours in total to be complete, but they did end up looking pretty dry. The chicken got as dark as the chicken at the dog stores, so I'm fairly confident that this is what we were supposed to end up with. I just don't know that this is pretty enough though to package up and give to my friends. Oh no, we forgot to taste test. Our official taste tester, Android. Would you like a chicken? He didn't like it. And I don't blame him. Like I said, it's not pretty. It's not a pretty treat. So we'll give these to another dog. A clear winner here for me was our peanut butter pumpkin biscuits. I got Android's special dog jar out so we could give him a couple. I got these really cute uh, little 
jars at Target and I'm going to fill them with a couple of cookies to hand out some of Android's friends as a Halloween gift. But first, let's go ahead and take a couple for him. These biscuits turned out so much better than I expected. This recipe, I'll link in the description where I got it from. Um, we actually made a mistake when we were making these together. I misread the sheet while I was doing everything and apparently it's supposed to be a third cup of peanut butter. We actually ended up using three quarters cup of peanut butter. But these turned out so perfect. I am also going to put in the description our personal recipe because they just turned out so perfectly in one piece. And when I bake cookies for humans, like the hardest part is keeping them in one piece, especially when I'm trying to give them away as gifts. Anything that breaks is no longer usable in your final project. It's a lot of waste. The house also smelled deliciously like pumpkin and uh, peanut butter when we were doing this. So highly suggested. I think I only need to make three of these. So I have these cute little dog bags. I forgot where I picked them up, but you can really use any bag. I also don't feel they're completely necessary. I just think they'll keep the biscuits fresh a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put two biscuits per bag. So the way I do this is I put it in the middle, fold it up once, so it's in the bottom there at the middle and then you're just going to fold over the outside corner so that you have the biscuit at the bottom like that and then you can kind of scrunch the top and they just go into our cups like that. There you have it. One perfect cookie jar. storming out this morning. All right, so I think we've completed our project. These look really, really cute. I cannot wait to go give these to all of Android's friends. Just to show you how it'll look when everybody opens them, it's just like this, which is kind of a fun little surprise. Surprise. And then in the middle there are our two perfect untouched cookies. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am with how stable these cookies are. I will probably make these all year long, not just for Halloween. And I've already suggested these to other people in my life because these cookies, they just smell so good. I can't imagine a dog not loving these. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our second video. We're having a lot of fun making these. Uh, next, I think we might attempt cooking human food, see how that goes. Um, if you liked the earrings that I wore in this video, I have a second set that I made and I'm doing a giveaway. I'll be picking our winner from the comments section using a random comment selector. I'm going to give it seven days from when I upload this to pick my winner, but these are super cute and yeah. Thanks for watching.